almost everything. Um, I have, uh, I have, you know, this time in in a person's life, you've you've made your decisions basically, um, and I feel good about my decisions. I'm very rich in friends mm -hmm. and family. Um, my life is embarrassingly rich mm -hmm. in. Horses. I mean, it's, it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. That's my next question. I know that you are a horse lover. Uh, tell us some life uh, lessons uh, you learn from the horses. You know, horses are, are, are different from our other companion animals. You know, your dogs, if you feed them and you give them any kindness, they're, 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 they're yours. Horses are very standoffish and you have to really, to get true affection, you have to mm -hmm. always learn always earn it. You have to be very honest with them. They don't mm -hmm. like you to. Yeah. yeah, they're very wise. Mm -hmm. uh, you have said that you have never want to become famous. Uh, back, in the, back in the days, did you feel uncomfortable with all this publicity? Yeah, very uncomfortable. Yeah. It's, it's not natural to have, you know, in your normal life, you, you can say no to that photographer, you can say no to you, no to you. When you're a public figure, it's it's a big shock when you say no, don't take my picture the first time, and they keep doing it. You know, you want to go crazy, you want to throw things, you want to run, which I did run a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, I never even fantasized it, so I wasn't subconsciously prepared. Mm -hmm. So, in late seventies or early eighties, uh, you didn't you didn't believe that you would become an icon for uh, no, no. some people. <laughs> I, yeah. For me, being in the movies was just about going to Greece. Yeah. A free trip to Greece, that's all it was for me.